Hi there. Let's use Paint X4 to paint some subtle lighting effects into a shot. We'll be looking at how to efficiently organize our paint layers and tracking layers, and how to use blending modes and the Reveal Source brush. To get started, let's add the Paint X4 tracked paint effect to our clip here, and open up the full screen editor. Now let's darken the frame. Create a new stroke layer group, then choose the color change brush. Set its size as large as it can go and its softness to zero. Change the gamma to 0.1 and paint a spiral shape to darken the entire frame. We will be creating a few different stroke layer groups here. For the first one, create a new track group and call it Character Track Group. For the most accurate, predictable tracks, we will generally want to track our footage using the most efficient shapes. We can then hide those track shapes and anything else we add to the group will follow along. Paint big red strokes with the color brush covering each of the vinyl characters. Track forwards and backwards. When the track is finished, go to the right hand track menu and choose Copy Track. Choose the color change brush and set the brush to 100% softness and a large enough size to fit all the toys inside it. Set the aspect ratio to 0.2 and adjust the angle so that it aligns to the perspective on top of the bar. Set the gamma to 1.2. Click once to lay down a single stroke and adjust the opacity of the stroke until it looks about right. Now again, create a new stroke layer group, this time call it light beam group. Immediately choose paste track data from the right hand tracking menu. This will copy the track you just copied into this new group. Now paint a subtle wedge shape using several strokes of the color change brush. Adjust the layer opacity of the group until it looks about right. The toys will look a bit strange, but we'll fix that next. Make another group and call it Reveal Character Group. As before, immediately paste track data to this new group. Make sure this group is at the top of the layer group stack. Choose the Reveal Source brush and use it to paint back the original source layer over the top of all the other layers at its full brightness. You will probably want to use a fairly hard edge brush and adjust the brush size as you go to get the best match to the toy shape. You can also use the erase brush to make small corrections and get the shapes just right. Now when you play back, all the bits should line up and you can adjust the layer group opacities and try different blending modes to get exactly the look that you want. In this tutorial, we've used some big simple brush strokes to explore adding lighting to a shot and using the reveal source to paint the original source material back into the frame using the updated interface in Paint X4, which is now both silicon and Intel native. Check out the free trial if you haven't already.